Hey everybody, it's Carpo. Just had a couple of quick things I wanted to share with you about Myrcene. That's M-Y-R-C-E-N-E. -E. Uh, it's uh, the main terpene in many plants and uh, the most significant terpene in cannabis. Um, it may be the most effective and I it's also found in lemongrass and hops and very, many other plants. Um, scientific studies have been done on myrcene in laboratories using mice and they've found that myrcene promotes uh, an analgesic effect which is a, a painkiller and it also, uh, this is the amazing part to me, it, uh, they've done experiments with mice in laboratories and found that uh, when the mice are given naloxone, which is an opiate blocker, uh, the effects are not pronounced and there's no painkiller properties, meaning that myrcene itself opens your mind up to release its own endogenous uh, painkillers or your your, en your endorphins, your endogenous morphine, which is just has vast implications because terpenes can be absorbed just merely by smelling them. So by smelling essential oil, myrcene, you are killing your pain. And this is found in hops and cannabis heavily. And it makes me uh, very interested in pursuing this particular chemical further. But uh, they found that it has the same, it has the, this is why beer may have a sedative effect in some, uh, some types, especially very hoppy beer. Um, but with cannabis, here's what they found in the lab, is that if a cannabis sample has less than a half a percent of myrcene, it tends to be more of a sativa, like high. And if a plant has more than a half a percent myrcene, it tends to be more of an indica or couch lock high. This is just a simple little scientific discovery that has implications that are so vast. Um, could you inject myrcene or a, a myrcene precursor or something into the stem of the plant to create more of an indica like high? Could you find a way to reduce that in the plant? Um, thinking that a terpene has an effect on the buzz that it gives you to me just shows that that much more how important terpenes really are. But um, I plan to order some myrcene and do a few experiments myself um, and some limonene. It's found in lemongrass, which is why a lot of people, uh, you know, the myrcene and limonene and lemongrass is used as a something to help relax people. And this is why when you smell essential oils, they can help you to relax. They're triggering your brain like a chemical to release its own natural painkillers. And uh, so merely smelling an herb really can't have medicinal effects. So more work to be done, but I uh, just wanted to share that a little bit. Mercy, good stuff.